GoPro Hero 9 Specs Talk. What can we expect? Well, that's coming right up. So this video did end up being quite long, as you can see, 9 minutes 30. I've put down in the description down below different times that you can click on if you were just looking for slow motion upgrades or um, image quality upgrades or just watch the whole video. But I hope those times down the bottom help you and allow you to enjoy the video more. Yeah, see ya. Just so you do know, all of this information was updated on the 13th of July, which was yesterday. If there's any more updates, which there should be in the coming months, um, I will definitely be putting that on this channel, so make sure to stick around. Also, we do have an epic DIY zip line coming up for the GoPro 8, so make sure to subscribe to see that. That will be coming within the next week, and I'll have the GoPro on a zip line, a DIY zip line that anyone can create with home appliances, and it will fly down past and follow me down as I snowboard. So kind of like a drone shot, but you're not allowed drones in the national park. So I'm going to create that. It's going to be an epic video. My name's Ryder Tweedy. I do photography and action sports, and that's pretty much my channel. So if you like that stuff, definitely hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell. It really helps me out. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. If we get to 1,500, I'm doing a GoPro giveaway. So make sure to smash that subscribe button. Okay, so the GoPro Hero 9 is expected to be released sometime in October. And I do have a few specs here that I would like to share with you guys. So here are the different specs and I'll go more into detail about these specs further into the video. So the GoPro will get a new body design, should adopt a quarter inch tripod thread a new chip inside it for faster processing, and improved lens options, so hopefully we do get better image quality. The GoPro has kind of kept the same image quality for, yet again, the past four models. Improved lens operation, and feature an edge-to-edge -edge display screen on the back, and hopefully a screen on the front. So yeah, let's get more into detail about those specs. So, the new design should hopefully change things up a bit. The GoPro has kept the same design for four years now. Most users are extremely frustrated and would love to see an upgrade. Personally, I am happy with the GoPro design. If it got smaller, lighter, better, well then that's obviously better. But yeah, if it kind of stayed the same, I am hoping for it a, bit, a little bit of change, but this GoPro design is pretty good. I would like a bigger screen. So this camera did get a slight design upgrade from the Hero 7, but it still is about the same. Apart from the changed mounting option, and which is these flip-out legs, and the lens which doesn't poke out as much, it's kept the same overall design, same size screen um, and everything. So for the GoPro 9, they're going to need to look at three design areas including the cage which is the shell on the outside which we do which we have had actually a peak look at as you can see right here and hopefully also they change the touch screen and improve the image quality so change the lens up a bit a reddit user did post that image i just showed you here it is again including that new bigger screen as you can see it looks pretty different to the previous one. It looks a bit bigger. I'll show you a photo right now. So as you can see in this image here with the side-by-side -side comparison with the 8 and the new 9 um, shell, you can see that it has gotten a lot bigger. This, this little bit here has gotten a lot bigger here. And we are hoping that is a coloured touchscreen display so you can take better self-recording videos. Let's move on to the next area of the quarter inch tripod thread. So if you don't know what that is, that is what you'll find on the bottom of most cameras, which is this little um, tripod thread right here. So how that would work for a GoPro, well instead of having these little legs, these little flip out legs, I'm actually perfectly fine with them, but instead of having that, it would have just one little screw here. That would actually save quite a bit of space and hopefully improve the battery life and stuff. So what would happen, you'd be like, oh no, you lose all your old GoPro accessories. Well, you don't. 
hopefully GoPro would include a little mount like this and that will be the same as the flip out legs and it would just screw on nice and easy just like that to the bottom of your camera. So that could also be an upgrade or just a change to the GoPro shell. Personally, I'm not 100% sold on that. It could happen, but if it doesn't, I don't think many people will be too upset. It would be cool actually if they kept the flip out legs and also added a little tripod mount there, then you'd have both options built in. Okay, so the new camera chip. Now this could improve the GoPro out of sight. It could make the battery life a hell of a lot better, and it also could improve the slow motion capabilities, image processing, and all of that. So if they did include a new GP2 chip, there must be an improvement while shooting in low light, as well as an improvement for better slow motion and effective manual control. If we had better manual control on this, I'm sure a lot more professionals would use it and use the linear mode and do cinematic photography with it. Because at the moment it's more automatic and you can't change things on the go. So with the bigger screen, manual control, this would open up possibilities for a bunch more people. The new chip could help achieve a higher frame rate of 480 frames a second for full HD, so in 1080p, and 120 frames a second moved from 2.7K up to 4K video recording. It would also be cool if it did end up doing 5.8K, which the new Insta One R does with its one inch sensor mod. Hopefully we get a one inch sensor on this. Bit hesitant, maybe a half inch, hopefully. Fingers crossed. There could be a major software update. The GoPro will get a major software update with the Hero 9 launch. According to Cinema 5D, GoPro recently has a Required, Real Steady. If you don't know what Real Steady is, it's a $399 um, post image stabilization software that is available in Adobe um, Premiere Pro and it is absolutely mind blowing. Like, if you had an older GoPro, you could get stabilization just as good as the 8, um, if not better, just by paying, but that is paying $399, so then you could almost afford the 8, well, you could afford the 8 now, so bit of a toss up. But if they implemented that and put it into the GoPro app and you got that with um, with the camera for free, well that would be incredible and imagine that on top of this, there wouldn't be a jitter. Goodbye gimbals, go flying out the window. The last few expected improvements would be, again bumping up the audio quality, the audio quality has kept getting better through GoPro model. Yeah, the 8 has pretty good audio and the 9 should then again bump that up again. There has been rumours that GoPro could integrate a mic adapter into the side instead of having to have that humongous dongle for that. With the new integrated mic plug, that would allow users to record pro-grade audio with the GoPro, again opening up it up to more professional users. Now the price, it's a bit too early to get a real prediction on the price, however it should be similar to the GoPro 8, but if there are a lot of improvements it could be slightly over. Um, we're thinking about 400 US, so the equivalent to that in AUD is here, um, but we'll just have to kind of wait and see because anything can happen. GoPro could also start including a subscription pro program where if you were going on vacation and well, hopefully there is vacation soon with COVID and all that, but if you were going on a holiday, um, you would be able to rent the camera for, say, $50 just for that month, use it, don't have to worry about it too much, and then send it back to GoPro when you've done the holiday, keep the SD card and all your footage that you shot. That could be pretty good for the novice who's just out there going on a one-in-a-lifetime opportunity, only going to use it once, not using it when they go back to their office job or whatever. That could be pretty cool and GoPro could include that and make more profit yet again. So I do hope you enjoyed that video. It was a pleasure making it for you guys. If you're new around here, do subscribe as that giveaway is going to be coming up hopefully shortly with the subscribers and all that. But yeah, make sure that you leave a comment down below on your thoughts. Give me more video ideas. I'd love to make them for you guys. So yeah, without further ado, let's peace out.
the time to pass me by